So if you advertise on social media, you well know that the new iOS update, iOS 14, has made some changes and it's made it very difficult for Facebook advertisers to track their own ads. So what's new with Google now as well? Yeah, so as Andrea has mentioned, the new Apple update is making our life complicated. But besides Apple, there's also Google rolling out a new update for the Google Chrome browser, which basically is going to cut all the third party tracking system like Facebook pixels. Okay, so for Google itself, for their Google platform like Google Ads and also YouTube Ads, which belongs to Google, it's still going to be possible to track easily inside Google Chrome, but the Facebook pixel is not going to be as powerful in the future as it is now. But luckily, there is a solution to that. What is it? It's the Conversions API. And that is? <laughs> the Conversions <laughs> API basically goes one level deeper than the pixel, okay? So a pixel, which you can more or less imagine like a cookie that is installed from your browser. Okay. okay, a browser is like Google Chrome or Safari or right. Firefox or the Internet Explorer. I okay. <laughs> haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> and so basically when you navigate to a website, okay. let's say adsaccelerator.com, mm -hmm. okay? You as a user, you go there and at the moment you visit this page, if the Facebook pixel is installed, it somehow more or less installs a cookie on your profile, okay. which is not directly right. what it really does because it's not cookie based, but it's people based measurement. It does it based on your Facebook login information, right. but to make it easier to understand. It's more or less like a cookie that from that moment on follows you. Right. And this allows advertisers to track if you have bought, if they want to retarget you and all of these things. Right. Google now says that nah, third party cookies, third party tracking systems are not allowed anymore. Okay. And therefore, um, what Facebook decided, which is a smart idea, is to go one level deeper, okay? One level deeper means, okay, if you go to adsaccelerator.com and you do it within Google Chrome, mm -hmm. you go to this URL inside the browser of right, Google, okay? Yeah. But my website, my zeros and ones, they are not hosted on Google Chrome. They're hosted on my server, okay? Okay. And what Google Chrome does, it's basically just a tool that navigates between the different servers. It navigates your iPhone, your iPad, your MacBook. It's like a machine that navigates through different servers that are like in Iceland, that are in places okay. that are typically very cool, okay? And it, because they need a lot of, you know, like they get very hot, so they need a lot of uh, cooling for these, for these yeah. servers, okay? So they, the browser just navigates you as a user with your end interface mm -hmm. to these servers, okay? Right. And the Conversions API, what it's going to do now and what it already does is that it goes one step deeper. Instead of tracking inside the browser, it tracks directly in the server, basically implementing this cookie, so okay. to say, not in this navigation tool, which is your browser, but directly at the root where also uh, Google Chrome takes the information from and therefore basically skipping the intermediary, which is the browser and putting it directly there. And for you as an advertiser, it's pretty easy to implement. You just go inside your ad account. You can also just Google how to activate conversions API. Okay. And you basically go into your business manager and there inside the event tracking, they're in settings, you just have to activate it, follow uh, the steps there. Okay. And there, and then at this specific moment when you have activated it, from this moment on, Facebook will receive two sources of information because they will still be able to track based on the pixel in Safari, in, yeah, okay. in Firefox, in Internet Explorer. And additionally, they will also track now with this Conversions API and the pixel and the Conversions API, they get along very well with each other. So they combine these data and thanks to that, you will have much better accurate data. For this, there's something a more or less easy solution. Unfortunately, this Conversions API tracking at this specific moment is not yet 100% perfect, but it's going to be better and better. However, for you, as the one who's listening to this advice right now, already take some action, mm -hmm. install the Conversions API, activate it already, activate the server-side tracking, because it's the same as if you would have the pixel on your website or not. 
at the moment you start tracking, you can retarget, you can uh, attribute and all of these things. But if you haven't had your pixel installed in your website, how would you re-impact people from the last six right, months, for yeah. example? So it's the right moment to take action. And it's really not complicated. It's basically, if you want to just Google like how to install Conversions API, below this video, we're also going to post some instructions step by step how you can actually activate all of that. And based on that, do it already now. And in the future, you're going to be really, really thankful to have it already installed. All right, well, that was super insightful. And yeah, you already know that with us, we're always here to just help you with everything that has to do with Facebook and Instagram ads marketing, as well as video content creation. So until the next time, see you soon.